This is a 92 year old patient practically losing ab ability to walk with uh, spondylolisthesis, stenosis and scoliosis and after conservative therapy failed we decided to perform a four level OLIF, transcambine OLIF, uh, minimal invasive fusion and correction of deformity. Here we are adjusting in the lateral view and in the AP view the x-rays and practically this is just the position of the serum and about now we start the surgery which is uh, was practically started at uh, 8.31 a.m. and uh, first we get the midline and put the gem sheet in and get the uh, um, bone marrow for biologic and here you see the gem sheet in place then we go with the um, neuro monitoring probe to 5S1. We, I always start with 5S1. I put the K wire in, dilator in, and uh, literally we put the tube in and perform a discectomy, prepare the end plate, and here you see that the cage is going to go in. The cage is positioned in strategic location for the best correction of deformity, and as well as you see, it's very anterior to create as much lordosis as I can reasonably produce. Now here both L5 and S1 have received the K wires and now we pay attention to the other levels. We have to adjust significantly and to get a good uh, lateral view of the end plates of the 4-5 um, and you see we are dealing with a grade 2 spondylolisthesis and here we are approaching the disc here and the goal is here as you see to go to all the way to the other side and lift up and I use the dilator like direct laterals to go to the other side and provide lifting of the scoliosis on the other side and here again the K wire is going in and after the discectomy is done the cage is getting all the way across eccentric to correct the scoliosis as you see the osteophytes are significantly separated now we go to the L4 disc from each level we get bone marrow that we've mixed with our uh, biologic and now we are paying attention to L 3-4 disc again the disc the disc is approached the k wire is placed the dilation is performed and then we perform a discectomy prepare the end plate and then we put a cage here the, there's not much stenotic uh, in this level but uh, there's still a significant disc disease so the cage is placed in midline. Now we put the K wires in the L3 and now at this point we approach the actually quite significantly stenotic and osteophytically changed L2-3. That's what there is a torsion here which is adjusted now. Then we get to the disc and here if you look carefully now the opening is quite significant here and here we want to put the cage on the left side to compensate for scoliosis as you see here so this positioning of the cage is not by chance and is by design to correct for scoliosis then we put the K wires in the L2 which is practically a um, very small pedicle but we are still able to get the K wire in. We stimulate all Jamshidis up to 30 and uh, make sure they have no contact to the neural structure. Here is the decorticator that goes rough on the surface of the facet in the lateral view and here in the AP view you see the placement of the K wires. Now the screws are going in and practically after all 10 screws are placed 
which that part takes less than 10 minutes after K wires are placed putting the screws doesn't take really more than one minute per screw and now we are passing the rod which is shaped properly and then we go serially lock the head of the screws and here is the final result in the AP and lateral and if you look carefully you see that osteophytic distance is significantly enlarged this used to be on here and now they are separated and that is practically how the scoliosis is corrected this patient is 92 year old I just visited this patient in her room she just told me the radiculopathy and the leg pain is gone she has ambulated from the bed to the chair I just got a testimonial that I will put separately online for view but practically this patient was becoming non-ambulatory and now we already have ambulated the patient about four hours after the surgery thank you